What's the haps? I'm Maroka and welcome, welcome to the final station! I'm a strange sort of zombie kick on my channel at the minute, I guess. There are some very good zombie games around, so yeah, normally I would be opposed to the idea, but if there are good games, there are good games, and I enjoy good games! Took a little look at this a couple months back or so, a new title being published by Tiny Build, who have very interesting tastes in games. And there's absolutely no exception, it's a fantastic little bit of sort of environmental storytelling, really, is what it was, and I really enjoyed what I saw of it. So, the game is now finally out, or will be as of tomorrow, it's the launch date, so I want to hop on in and let's play some Final Station. Uh, I have briefly, very, very, very briefly had a quick look at like the first two minutes of the game, just to see if it was the same as the demo, which I can confirm it was not, because we did not start here, we started on a train last time around. So I guess there's kind of a tutorial, learn to fight the zombies kind of thing going on in this version, whereas last time it was kind of a bit more yeah, in medias res, I believe it is, right in the middle of the action. Ay, 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 you should not have taken three shots. Wasting my ammo right off the bat. There's a guy down there. There's a thing going on in here. I don't know what this is. Something strange. Something strange going down. This is just all a bit weird. There's... I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like a, It kind of has a jail kind of vibe to it. Got all the big just rows and rows of doors covered in bars. Got a guy in like a cowboy hat down there, kind of like the jail warden or something. Sitting there smoking a cigarette, oblivious to the zombie apocalypse, I guess. Although he's probably had to shoot the dude who's dead in front of him. Maybe. Don't know. Uh, I think the way you need to progress is down there, so I'm gonna hold off on that till last. So we're gonna head out here because we can head out out into the into the wilderness and oh zombies! Hi, there we go. We can search him for pistol ammo. Nice. Can we do a spot of fishing? No, we can't do any spot of fishing. It's just all a bit weird. And that brings us back up and down here. Have we explored everything? We have explored everything. Yeah. Let's head down the ladder. Oh, well, that, that didn't go well for us. It's okay, we were supposed to die. It was all a dream or something, I guess, is how that goes down. This is this is as much as I played, just to see if the game started differently. Totally does, because this is, goes down an entirely different route to what we saw in the demo, certainly. Um, we are not even the train driver this time, unless this is what we look like out of uniform. I suppose that would make sense. Why would we sleep in our uniform? But I've never seen I've never seen the protagonist out of uniform, so you know, it's it's novel. Can I? Oh, I can't even can't, I can't even punch my window out. I, I guess this is just supposed to be like it was an ordinary day like any other or something, and to that extent, why would you go around pushing punching out windows? That's a bit of food, a little bit of food. Get our breakfast before we go out for a morning stroll. Check the mail. Oh, all citizens aged 16 and over must attend the annual annual second visitation drill at the local response center. The next drill is scheduled for Friday. Administration of Armand White. Oh, we should probably go to that. I think we're a little older than 16 by the looks of things. Let's just go on a stroll to the... The Kalpa? Whatever the Kalpa may be. Hello. You're early today. Martin's not here, here today. He disappeared somewhere. I'm doing his work today. Okay. So, and and you are... Are you supposed to be here? Uh, oh, is, is this Martin? I, I think that might be Martin. Martin found the storeroom and decided to just have a go at it, I guess. Well, that's why he's not in work today. <laughs> oh, it's just those little things that you just find in this game. It's just great. I could have just carried on walking, but you know, if you go have a look in the basement, ta-da! Mystery solved. Ah, wanted to build guardian engineers, mechanics, and builders are wanted. Recommended experience plus 10 plus years. Rec recommendation in the lower sector of Metropole. Meals, double pension are provided. Ad does not apply to settlers' families. That sounds like familiar. I think we saw that somewhere before, did we not? 
There's a shower. There's a locker room. We got some screws and rags. Just dismantle the locker, I guess, for some reason. Just take the screws out of them. Oh, right. Now we're getting dressed for work. Yep, that's, yeah, that is us. Huh? There you go. Oh, I think I accidentally closed the door. I didn't peek. Good. Great. Wonderful. And uh, let's go see what's up here. Hey. Oh, hello. Vacation over. Boss isn't here today. No need to hurry. Okay. Three dollars worth of toilet paper. Yeah. Stealing supplies from work, apparently, just to sell it. Also, who pays three dollars for a roll of toilet paper? Are you sure this is a good idea? He's not the best train operator. What if something goes wrong? Calm down, I'll keep an eye on him. James, the very, this is a very important train. I know. Is it? Is it the train going to the final station? Maybe. Steal someone's clothes? Ah, the blocker's code is 4697. Well, this is something we're very familiar with, isn't it? Ah, uh, blocker's code allows us to progress. A little gets written down there so we don't forget it. Hello. While you're away, they install the new blockers. The boss left the code in his office. Enter it into the panel next to the train. I'll give you more details as we travel. And he fades out of existence. He's a magical spirit person. Plot twist, that dude was dead all along. Uh, 4697. Boop, boop. Excellent. I managed to install these just before the zombie apocalypse. How convenient. Just to impede my journey. Okay. And now we're on our way. Belso 7. I remember this train. It's a familiar train. Alrighty. Um, I mean, to be fair, I'm fairly familiar with it. The train's not in great condition. This is an experimental model. There are frequent operational failures. Uh, you'll need to set it up manually. Yep. If it overheats, we won't be able to move. This was not well explained before. I think that was one of the biggest complaints other people had of the demo. Um, yeah. The fact that we need to deliver it to Willstream. Important order from the board. So there's all okay. Oh, everything's working okay today. It takes a full day to get there and another to get back. Of double overtime fare. So we can click that. There we go. That resets that. That's good. Oh yeah, the blockers. Uh, what of them? Remember the accident at Exila Six? Exila Six? It was horrible. Sure thing the council didn't let, couldn't. Sure thing the council couldn't let this slip. Now, in order to leave a station, you need to get an access code from the station manager. Sounds sensible. What if the station manager is sick, or something else happens? We could have to go on all sorts of adventures to find the codes, couldn't we? Certainly. Uh, so where are we heading to? When we said on the map we're going to... Where's that? That's Redmond. Oh, we can investigate these things. Nimlard. That's all we can see at the minute. Admittedly, I, I don't think the game necessarily always seems to give you enough time to check out what's going on because you're busy micromanaging a lot of stuff. That was also a complaint I heard. Oh, we've got a little... we've got a destination meter down there that I don't recall seeing before. we got our operators. No things. Oh, I th we have arrived, but this thing is, this thing's, it's too high. Quickly, deprecate it. Okay, he was he he was running out of oxygen. Is that because the vents needed? No, the vents are fine. We should probably just arrive. That would help. He is hungry as well. My job to feed him, my supervisor or whatever he is. I feel like he should be able, capable of getting his own food. Anywho, onwards to the town. We require codes in order to carry on. We don't have a code right now. Um, I'll just press E to get rid of that. Okay. Hi. You're late. Well, we had some problems with the train. Uh, there's no express train today. We'll have to take this wreck of a train. Oh, thanks. My train. Hello. How's your vacation? It was alright. I see. I don't have the blockers code, but the boss has it. Okay, he went to lunch. You can wait here. Or look for him in the city. I'm sure he's close by. Yeah, of course, we've got to go on that bench. Of course we do. The new blockers, there's twice as much work to do. Those idiots in government. Has he left it in his office? Of course he hasn't. So I can't, oh, I can't even raid his locker. Although I bet I have to go find a key from somewhere. Okay. 
There's no zombie apocalypse yet. Everything seems to be just pretty normal right now. Last time everything was just kind of assumed it was like, oh yeah, zombie apocalypse is on. Yeah, you just fight zombies. Not now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find... I'm off today! The new cashier is awful. Get rid of him and find a new one. Uh, glasses. We are just, like, going full Legend of Zelda here. Just looting everyone's houses for no obvious reasons. Um, because we can. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, we can. Hi, dude asleep at his desk. I'm just stealing all your things. Oh, note. Get up at 6.40, drink a quart of milk, run five miles, repeat every day. Oh, is he... Now, question, did he oversleep, or did he... Is he so tired out from running five miles at the crack of dawn that he went back to sleep? I think he overslept, to be quite honest. The milk is undrunk, so... So it suggests he hasn't got up yet. Yeah. That's, uh, again, just little details of the world. That's like completely irrelevant to everything ever, but I like that that's there. Just a little insight into the life of somebody who lives in this building. And none of it's ever particularly told verbally. I guess there was the note, but nonetheless, you just sort of have to infer what's gone down in this guy's life just from what you can see around it, which I really like. Yeah, why are you distracting me from work? No reason. I just like talking to people. Okay. There's, an, there's clearly an elevator here. Nope. We go up the fire escape. That's how we get through the building. I couldn't find approach to Adam. He is just like his father. Uh, what do we do now? We need to find a detour. I know it's a big bolt, but if we can transfer it out of Bristol, we are set for life. Okay. I think that uh, sounds like that's details of the mission we're about to embark upon. Hi there. Oh, nom 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 nom. Sorry, I forgot about the train. The key here in the suitcase. I left a note with the code in the locker, but don't take anything besides the code. Ah, right, this is, this is our station manager who's out to lunch. Fair enough. Yes, you're right. Sorry. What's in the basement? We can go from, well, the sewers? Oops, just, let's, let's just take a detour through the sewers, why not? Just in case. There, is that a rat or a cat? Hard to say. What the hell? I don't know. What are you, what the helling about? Was there anything behind this guy, though? That's what I'm intrigued by. The, we can go see the. Hey, friend, help me. I need a couple of coins for the beer. Now it's up to you. Be careful at night. Sometimes boxes accidentally fall on people's heads. They sure do. Strange and useful hints, I guess. Which, I guess, tells you that you can throw a box on somebody's head and it will kill them. If they happen to be sort of zombified and... Ooh. Just to steal the wires out of somebody's car. Why are you stealing the wires out of someone's car? Although they did have a bottle of whiskey in the car, which is uh, concerning. Why do you have that in the car? Uh, okay. I travelled here from Morganstern to find out two screws were unscrewed. Yep. That's, that sounds like business. Uh, we can get back up here. The two a bit seemed like entirely unnecessary, except for the stealing wires out of someone's car for no reason. This guy's just a kleptomaniac, that's basically all he is. Upper House Match Ball to Roger, Richard Rogers, head of Nimlard Station, confirmation of Blockers, blockers Code 9746. Great. And now we know. And knowing is how you unlock the blockers. 9746. Alrighty. Onwards, onwards to wherever the heck we're supposed to be going. On our merry little way. Are we going to learn how to use the vents now? Oh, we picked up a guy. Okay. Hi there. Can this guy just die? We probably, he probably can. Is there a problem, sir? Problem? Yes. Oh, this thing. This thing needs. Uh, this thing needs balancing now. Yep, it does. We're running more problems. I don't understand. Let's get some food for our guy. Damn scheduled train, where is it? This guy was supposed to be like our supervisor. We can just let him starve to death on the train, which is kind of weird. Scheduled train timetable hasn't changed in 20 years. I know, because I've been taking it for 20 years. He doesn't look that old. Uh, what's going on? It's on the station to- ah, oh, it still moves a little too fast and there's still too much to focus on. I really wish you could focus on the conversation a bit more. Uh, what's up? 
Ah, Peter Peter White is online. Hi. Thank you. No planned route changes. However, there are communication problems in the south. I hope the team can fix this. Me too. Peter's offline. Okay. Uh, something. Oh, yeah. We're that 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 needs that needs dealing with. Okay, they're balanced again. This thing probably needs dealing with as well. Oh no, that one's okay this time. That one's running okay. I wonder if it varies depending on the journey as to which ones are sort of malfunctioning a little bit. Sometimes things might run correctly. Trevor's gone. He's in the west. Standard route 540. Never reached the final station! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. You had things to say. You ain't, you ain't done yet. Also, this guy totally needs food. Here, yeah, food. Okay, I think we should probably... That's one of those things, it's like, you can keep running it and keep listening to the conversation, or, but, the, the, but you know, your resources are still depleting the whole time you're doing it. So you might get more, more story out of it, but it's gonna cost you some food and stuffs. Which is kind of a bit weird, weird way to do it. Uh, what's there? Rags. Box of rags. Hi there. Code. Oh yeah, uh, the code. Uh, there's a manual somewhere here, how to print it out. Give me a couple minutes. Take a walk around town. Oh, God dang it. Well, got another uniform and some cigarettes. Uh, I need to leave. Michael has some troubles with the patrol. Amanda. Oh, something's going down here, isn't it? Hi. Walk through the scanner. Faster. Okay, I'm going through. I'm going through. You have guns. Listen, they cancelled all the tickets to the south. I need to go back home. It's important. I'll pay. I have money. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, he's on board now. Oh, the other dude who got on board must have been the guy who kind of faded out of existence in the town, wasn't it? He presumably got on board. I guess that's... If somebody vanishes, I guess they're getting on your train, basically. Uh, still no details. Any word from the council? I think they already evacuated. Nonsense. Something's definitely going down. There's a lot of armed police around. Hey, how are we going to get there? What? No, we need to go north. Oh, hi there. Ooh, we can buy... What are we buying? Oh, food is that? Is that food? Uh, I can buy a food. I should buy a food. Yeah. Food is a good idea to buy. Hi there. I repeat, the ticket office is closed. Yes, to all destinations. Ooh. Yes, we're at the border of the... quarantined area? Evil imposing red lit up spider in the background. Some free soap. One dollar soap. Uh, you can ask the kitchen, where's my meat? Alrighty. Hey, where's that dude's meat? Good afternoon. Are you ready to order? No, I don't have that. Sorry. Oh, there's a the kitchen. Hi. Did you, order tr did you order the damn triple cooked meat? I'm cooking it for an hour. Oh, right. That, that's why it's taking its time. Dude likes it very, very well done. Let's go have a look under the city at the rats. Hmm. Clothing and workwear. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, hello. Hi there. Hush. Don't tell them about me. Something's happening here. Don't believe the military. Uh, hi. I probably shouldn't be in here, should I? Come in, faster. Um, I feel like I'm going to get into something if I go that way and I've not explored everything, so I want to backtrack just a little. I want to go see what was down. I'm also supposed to just stops to investigate everything, and yeah, I feel like this is the way forward. Because I need to, yeah, well, that, here's the end, but I need I need to talk to old man with pigeons first. No, I'm not going anywhere. No one listens to me at home. Think about this, buddy. If we have the Guardian, who's going to save us in case of second visitation? And why is the council build those are giant underground shelters? You raise some valid points. That I don't entirely know the context of, but... When I knew the context, I'm sure they would be valid. 
Okay, let's go see the scary looking military men. Hi there, hi there. Uh, hi there. What's gone down in here? What, what is going down in here? Don't move. What are you doing here? You're a railway worker. That doesn't hold any authority. If I see her again, you're dead meat. You'll be a dead meat. Um, can I... Oh, I can just walk past him. Okay. I seem to have achieved nothing. Have I... Or has that literally just met the criteria for having wandered around town long enough for him to have printed the thing out? Printed out the code. I hope it's right. Where's Amanda? I don't know. I don't know who Amanda is. Her to John Breen, head of Central Station, Keskus. Confirmation blockers code 4783. Okay. Onwards. 4783. Let's do it. So now I got more people to bring. I thought we were going to bring the guy. I did I did think we were going to wind up bringing the guy with the um the bandages on his head. So I was like, ah, that'll 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 involve giving him med kits every two minutes so that he doesn't bleed out. Okay, well that, yeah, that one's going out of whack. Um, so how's everyone doing? Everyone's pretty okay. We cancel destination routes to all destinations. So we saw. I don't know anything about this. So this the central station. Central Station in Metropole, and it doesn't count. Why is that? Only locals can use it. Well, oh, I've got this out of whack. There we go. I heard that exact thing. Don't even let settlers in. Thought nobody liked settlers anyway. Nonsense. I got the food. Who's gonna? Who's, whose turn is it to start starving next? Irvin Jones, evidently. Okay, bring that back down. Yep. All good. Anybody to talk to? Nope. Reserve crafting system. Oh, interesting. Gunpowder and scraps can be used to make ammo. Ooh. And rags and pills can be used to make med kits. Oh. What, what was that? What was that? James Biddle, please tell us what happened. You're in the north. Are you okay there? 50-50. I've had karma days. They report some shootings. Any word from the council? Ooh. Something's going on. It's like a war zone out there. James? James is offline. I guess we're here. Okay, I think things are kicking off now. Irvin Jones, assistant engineer, survived. Lewis McGreen, survived. Bill Fringer, survived. This um, manager, businessman, and assistant engineer. Oh, he was just the assistant? I thought he was like my supervisor. Okay. Well, we made $500. Cool. Alrighty. They don't give us any cool stuff. They just give us money this time. Why did they stop us here? Can you find out what's happening? I'm sure I can. This must be where things kick off. Thanks for trying to help. Looks like they won't let us any further. Nope. Fantastic. I'm late for sure. I know. Yes, but I don't have any authority anymore. The military has power now and their general is waiting for you. It's not going to end well. Better hurry up. No, I don't know what's happening in Redmond. Jennifer had a seizure. She was taken to the infirmary. And that's about it. Is she in charge? Was, she, was Jennifer the person who had the code? Is this, an, is this the next thing? Marcus, this is an order from the authority. You cannot argue. Here's new access levels. B, the ability to make independent, inconsistent with the operator solutions in emergency situations. And A, can carry and use firearms. Okay. I guess, is this... When it says his new access levels, these are my new access levels? So I'm allowed to use firearms, I guess? And the ability to make independent solutions in emergency situations. Okay. 
I'm allowed to think for myself. I'm no longer just a mindless drone. I'm running a fever. This is why I asked you not to approach those things. Oh. Amber lamps is there. Oh, hi. Man pointing a gun at me. Don't move. You don't have access to the infirmary. You have an access code. Oh, the access code. Oh, oh you're looking for the access code. Okay, go in. Um, I don't think she's got the code anymore. It's not blood. I don't know what it is. Yeah, everybody got that. I got a lot of that going down. It's not not good. Most of the doctors fled the city. We're the only ones who stayed. The worst part is we can't help them. Hi. Uh, water, friend. Give me some water. Um, I ain't got any water. Sorry. This looks messy. I, I, all things considered, I probably shouldn't be hanging around here. I don't think. Ugh. They're not getting anything out of them. Hi. I'm just going out for a leisurely evening stroll through your military facility. Don't ask me. I know as much as you do. I heard they're back. The government is silent. Is it the second visitation? And dang it! Right before we had our... The second visitation drill next Friday. We weren't prepared. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't prepare well enough. The secret information. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, is that code anything? Nope. Come in. They're waiting for you. Oh, that's concerning. Who's here? They'll be here in twenty minutes, sir. Listen to me now. Where are you headed to? Uh, I don't know. Wherever I was told to go to. Will stream? Yeah, that was the one. What's going down in Will stream? Will stream is no more, son, just like other mountain towns. We need your trains to deliver an important cargo. It's being connected to the train now. Deliver it to Costfield. Wait for further instructions. All of us do, but orders are orders. Ten minutes, sir. Damn, hurry up. I knew it was only barely touched by them. This There could be some survivors. Rescue the survivors. It's your secondary mission. Go! Do I get my gun? Good luck, son. I also still need a code, guys. Uh, right, well, that, that's, that's incontrovertible evidence of aliens. That's what that is. Evidently. Oh, we got a basement, basement dwelling bit. Cool. There's always a basement dwelling bit for some reason. Yeah, we could just walk back through the military camp, or we could go crawl around in the sewers, because that's what an ordinary person would do, right? I feel I'm very close. Finally! Well, that's slightly creepy. No dolls that way? That way. Hi there! Do you have a gun for me? No, you're, you're, no, you're bleeding out of your hazmat suit, which is... Um, gross! I'm going to go away from you. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Throw the chair at him! Yes. Chairs are great. There's a whole bunch of them in there. Peering out of the windows. Eerie. Very eerie. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go now. I would love to go now anyway. If I could get a gun from somewhere. Hi. Do, you, do any of you have a gun? Uh, box of code here. That wasn't there before, was it? Someone was just taped it to the wall for some reason. Martin Roddy, head of emergency station A45. Co blockers code 3835. Hey. Sorry, I can't do anything about it. Our orders to escort the cargo. Get on the train. Okay, they've hooked our cargo up. Yep. And now I've got two passengers for a I guess. 3835. Well, I guess, I guess, yeah, they weren't just going to like, Hey, you're civilian. Do you want to transport our secret military cargo? Anybody who saw the demo probably knows what the cargo is, I'm afraid. But I'm not going to spoil it in case you didn't see that. Because so I think this is... Well, we had our car... The cargo was on the train in the demo last time. Oh, God, we have to... Oh, we have to... Ma we have to tend to the cargo as well. Oh, okay, so we have to reset that to... We have to match... 
Oh, this has to this this has to match this, roughly speaking, I guess. I can't say anything. Oh, they're cl the the names are classified. Oh, God, they've gone. What? What happened, guys? Guys, 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 wait, where did you go? What happened to you guys? Were you taken? Was it the rapture? Where are we? Are those plumes of smoke or something even more sinister than that? They appear to be in the clouds. Those are... Tanks? Are those tanks? They, they, oh, that's def definitely a tank. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has any treads, which is kind of weird. Okay. Uh, there we go. This is all a bit eerie. Oh, someone's online. Hello. Nicholas Wilson. Hey, Nick. Going to Redmond. Nope, sorry. Uh, is everything alright? I remember them building a tunnel here. Sorry, the connection has disappeared. And he's gone. He went into a tunnel. Uh, more of the evil red spires. Or black spires with red lights. The background still carries on passing you by, even if you leave the train running. I wonder if you see more backgrounds and stuff. 